in the company so I can compare year over year as well as consistency across companies so we can compare one company to another. So if we choose one method and then we were able to change it all the time, then the tax code for taxes, you would think that people would use that manipulation to change the cutoff dates to try to reduce taxes. Obviously, the IRS is not going to like that. And therefore, you're going to need to keep a particular method unless there's a rationale for it, in which case you have to get approval by the IRS. Now, with a cash to an accrual method, you can imagine the IRS might be okay with that in some cases because you're usually going to a more complex method and sometimes you might need to, such as if you didn't have inventory before and now you do have inventory or you were a small business before and you've grown to a larger business and now you need to track your inventory in a more specific way for whatever reason. So there are rationales when it could happen, but you're gonna get approval for it or need approval and what you really want to make sure that you do is not mess up the first Schedule C and choose the wrong accounting method, in which case you need to change the accounting method, not because you've grown, not because you've changed the type of business, not because you've included inventory, but because you messed up and that could end up being a problem. You might be able to, you know, you could try to amend the prior return or something like that. But again, you want to avoid that problem too. Uh, your treatment of any material item. So when we think about material, we're not talking about like a physical thing you can touch. We're talking about it has a tang it has a impact on decision making or the amount of tax that's going to be paid. It's not immaterial with regards to the taxes and the taxes that will be paid. So to get approval, you must file form 3115. So what if I want to change my method? I have to get approval. We got form 3115. Uh, you can get IRS approval to change an accounting method under either the automatic change procedures or the advanced consent request procedures. You may have to pay a user fee, and that's always not fun to pay a fee, but that's part of the process. For more information, you can see instructions for Form 3115. So if you need to make that change, IRS website, take a look at the Form 3115 and the related instructions for it. Automatic change procedures, what's it look like? Certain taxpayers can presume to have IRS approval to change their method of accounting. The approval is granted for the tax year for which the taxpayer requests a change, year of change, if the taxpayer complies with provisions of the automatic change procedures. So obviously one of the issues with making these changes is the time it takes to get approval, which can be a stressful type of process. And you have to do some accounting basically in the meantime. So you would like to possibly able to qualify for the automatic change procedure. So you can basically assume that the change will be accepted, right? Because if it's not accepted and then you made the change and your bookkeeping has changed and so on and so forth, and then they reject it and then you have to appeal it or whatever is going to go on, that's going to cause havoc to your bookkeeping and tax preparation. So no user fee is required for an application filed under an automatic uh, change procedure generally covered in Revenue Procedure 2015-13-2015-5 IRB-419, which is available at the IRS website. Generally, you must file Form 3115 to request an automatic change. Again, for more information, see the instructions for Form 3115, which you can find on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov.